going to do on the Ma Magellan ventilator. This is a transport ventilator we commonly use uh, for MRI or if we don't have any other ventilators available. So first of all, we have a, a reusable circuit. This is sterilized by sterile processing. You'll see this is interfaces with the vent. This interfaces with the patient. Here's the vent, it's extremely simple. I like to term it as pressure controlled bag, bag ventilation because that's essentially what it is. I'm plugging into a 50 PSI hookup and you hear it running right now, it'll be kind of loud. You can deliver only 100% on this. So we're looking at this side, you see some different ports. We're gonna insert this one into this port, a large wide bore tubing. The exhalation valve is pretty easy because I look and I see, oh, there's the exhalation valve, there's the green attached. Easy enough, I'm gonna hook that up here. And the last one's a pressure gauge. They kind of make it RT proof, so they make it only go into specific ports. Now you can see we're functioning. Our pressure's not moving. I can include the patient in. Not getting much fluctuation at all. This would be ideal if you check this before you go see the patient. There's our culprit. You see our rip and our diaphragm there? That's the problem. So in this case, I'm gonna change the diaphragm. Now, how do we change the diaphragm? It's pretty easy. Diaphragm comes off. What I'm gonna use is some of the extra diaphragms from our oscillator. So you may have seen those before. They come in a pack similar to that. If I open it up, take the diaphragm off, what do you know, it fits perfectly over this. I put the diaphragm on, we're gonna put a, like a balloon you're gonna see on there. We're gonna put this piece over. It kind of clips in place a little bit. It's gonna go on this side. This retention screw is gonna go on this side. And this will go right back into the expiratory valve. Now it's not fluctuating yet, but it will soon. Ooh, so she, she kind of likes to get cut there on the, uh, the spring, so we want to be careful putting it on. Okay, so there you see now, with our breath, you can see it's fluctuating. That's exactly what we need. It's going to fluctuate between breaths. I'll put the patient lung on. It's giving large breaths right now, so we need to turn it down. But that's the way it should look. So let's come over here to this side. Super easy, you're going to manage this via pressure manometer. You see we have uh, centimeters of water pressure on the top. It's going to 50 right now. We want to decrease that pressure, so we're going to go the opposite way there. Take it down just a little bit. I'm also going to turn the tidal volume down just a little bit. We have some marks on here, but you can go without the marks. So you see right now, go down a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to take a little more pressure relief off. Okay, we're a little close to the 40 range now. Okay. Okay, so that's where I really like it at this point. We're ventilating well. Now, what do I want to do about my rate? So, what I'm going to do with the rate is I'm just going to adjust it per time. So, I think a good bagging rate is 10 per, per minute. So, once every six seconds. So, let's just count it off. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. Not fast enough. Let's turn this down a little bit. 1, 1,000. Yeah, let's let it start circulate again here. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand. I'm gonna go back up a little bit, a couple clicks. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Go one more click down. You see, I'm not really looking at this side over here. I'm just really clicking it until I feel like I have a good ventilation rate. And this is what this would be: good ventilation rate at this time. Breathing about, let's say, ten to twelve per minute.